So getting the red Komodo is a little bit like starting a new relationship in that little bit of a honeymoon phase. Everything seems to go well. Everything seems to handle pretty perfectly. There's no problem so far. You can't wait to go home and turn it on. And at the back of your mind, you have that nagging thought that says, don't screw this up. Now the title and thumbnail is a little bit misleading. I didn't actually break the red Komodo per se, but there's three ways that you can destroy this camera. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ways that you can ruin your red Komodo, but at the same time, there's three ways you can prevent that from happening in the first place. Starting with running the risk of wiping all your memory and corrupting your cards, which means you're gonna end up a lot like this guy. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Now, if you've ever had your SD cards or your CFast cards corrupt and you've lost all your data, especially working on client shoots, it could be a nightmare. And because the Red Komodo doesn't have two card slots, if you lose that one card, everything that's on it and it's corrupted, that's out of the way and you can't really do anything about that. Now, a way that you could prevent that is actually the proper ejecting of the card from your camera. Now, it's a little bit different from other cameras where you could just pop it open and take it out. You actually have to go to the menu settings and go for a safe eject. But if you go through this process, it's the safest way to eject your card, especially when the camera's turned on. Now, we all love the R3D raw codec that's on this camera with great dynamic range and a 16-bit color. However, you have to calibrate your camera on an often basis to make sure that you don't get super noisy images. And that process is called black shading. So if you've had other cinema cameras before, this process is a little bit familiar to you, but on the red Komodo, I find that I have to do it quite often. Whenever the temperature changes, whenever the color changes in my scene, or the light changes, or even if I change frame rates, I have to go through the black shading process. So basically what you have to do is go into your camera settings, go to the calibrations, and honestly, wait for a while. Okay, so Editor Kofi here, we're gonna talk about the fact that you still aren't subscribed yet. I'm not sure what you're waiting for, you've made it up till this point in the video, so why not just click that subscribe button, click that little bell every time I come out with a new video you'll be notified and leave a comment down below what are things and what are ways that you've actually destroyed your camera because you didn't know some of the ways that you should handle and care for it. Now the black shading process is a little bit tedious it does take up time not making this the fastest camera to work with but when you calibrate your camera properly you're gonna make the most out of your image. Now if you guys thought overheating your camera was a little bit tedious try burning out an SDI import which is the only way you can connect a monitor to the red Komodo. And one of the things I saw online with this camera is a lot of people have problems with the SDI port burning out and not being able to use it. Now Red actually has a video on their channel on how you actually connect the SDI port to your camera in the safest way possible to prevent that from burning out. But if you haven't watched that video, you have to follow a system called Last In First Out, where for this camera, you have to turn on your monitor and your camera at the same time before connecting the SDI cable. And when you want to turn off your camera, you have to disconnect the SDI cable from your camera and from your monitor before powering both down. This way you don't fry your SDI port and render your camera unable to actually provide an image to your monitor. There you have it. Those are three ways that you could absolutely destroy the red Komodo and three ways that you can fix it. Now, if you're somebody that has this camera, you want to have it long lasting. You want to get the most out of the image and you want it to be your staple or your workhorse, especially for your client work. And like a lot of you guys, the red Komodo itself is a really high price tag and you might not be able to afford it. But if you follow this video right over here, you'll find out a way that you could actually save on all the money of buying the red Komodo, but you get to use it in all your shoots anyways. Thank you.